first in this video we're going to have a look at all the places that you can sit and have a drink on the celebrity sources class so that includes all the bars and the lounges and even the coffee shop but because believe me they do some wonderful liqueur coffees in there i'm going to start at the bottom of the ship with the passport bar and work my way up showing you all the places that you can sit and have a beverage so here we are the passport bar Passport Bar is really centrally located at the bottom of the auditorium and it's a great place to be pre-dinner, to listen to the music of the auditorium or just to meet friends before you go off for the evening's entertainment. There's plenty of seating around the bar and also in the areas surrounding and if you look, if I walk back over here, you can see where all the entertainment in the auditorium is of an evening. So you could be right in the middle of it. They have pianists playing there, live bands, opera, you name it, they will have it. It's a fabulous place to just sit and listen to the music and be in the middle of the atmosphere. Here's a slightly better view showing you the auditorium as in respect to the passport bar which is literally over there the right by the windows here we go again it's shaped a bit like a boat's bow and as you can see there's plenty of seating all the way around okay now let's have a look at the martini bar up on the fourth floor this is again another really central place to be where everybody gathers of an evening before they're going out for their dinner or ever restaurant they're attending look how beautiful it is it's set out in a semicircle and in the evening this bar here is all ice and you can scribble messages and everything on it the bartenders here are very flamboyant to say the least doing bar flaring and shows regularly again the martini bar is set on the edge of the auditorium so you're in the middle of everything that's going on here was my first chocolate martini, and believe me, it was absolutely lovely. Whatever martini you want, they do it. Here you can see the bartender pouring, I think it was about eight martinis at once. For, and again, one last shot of the bar at night. You can see how busy it gets and how what a great atmosphere it is here. This really is the place to meet of an evening the martini bar one not to be missed on the opposite side of floor four you'll find cellar masters to be honest i didn't spend too much time in here because it wasn't an actual bar it was self-service wine from the machines as you can see here but it was a really cozy little snug area if you wanted a glass of wine and to chill out the final place on the fourth floor you could potentially find a drink is quasar this used to be the nightclub but now they use it as a multi-purpose room so sometimes they will have stuff going on in the evening but sometimes also they have quizzes and everything going on in the so let's make our way up to floor five now let's move up a deck onto five and the ensemble lounge this is a Stepped to a gentleman's club with very plush, lush seats, as you can see here. Thick carpet, relaxed atmosphere with a beautifully adorned circular bar in the middle. This is where you go for your pre-dinner drinks. That's St. Michael's Club over there in the corner. Unfortunately, I didn't film in there because that's for Zenith level members or sweet guests. The bar is circular, very luxurious, plenty of seating and in the evening there's also sometimes entertainment on here in the form of a violinist or singer. Great place to hang out early evening. Next on five is the world class bar and this is where you come if you want the most amazing cocktails. That's all this bar does is cocktails. Do not come here if you want a beer or wine or anything else because you will be looked at completely strange. This is about very exquisite, very defined cocktails and they really are amazing. You can see here, each one is individual, handmade with real fresh ingredients and it was a really great place to start the evening or finish the evening. I absolutely loved this bar. 
here you can see the guys doing their tricks again they were really really skilled at their trade listened to what you wanted and just produced exquisite cocktails if you like a cocktail please go give the place a try okay now let's go up onto the top decks and have a look at the pool area and of course the pool bars this is the main pool bar located right at the head of the pool and is busy both day and night but there's always plenty of seating area step up one level and here's the mast pool bar this is a smoking area up up the here as well for those of you who like to go somewhere to smoke great little bar of course they do frozen margaritas and frozen drinks as well as your regular drinks here and it's open pretty much from first thing in the morning to last thing at night as you can see here there's a transition of the pool bar from day in to night time now let's visit the sunset bar another one of my favorite places that are actually quite a few on the ship as you can tell the sunset bar is right at the aft of the boat and has amazing views as you sail away from port you can sit and watch the ports around you or just the wake of the boat as you sail this is such a beautiful area and as you can see it's next to the lawn club as well so if you fancy a bit of bowls or just sitting and watching the world go by the sunset bar is a brilliant place to be it transforms from day to night and lots of the time has music and entertainers on especially on sail away occasions it looks down over the after the boat and sits above the buffet area so why not grab your food and come and sit up here at the bar one side is smoking and the other side is not smoking so it suits both preferences and this really was my favorite place to end the evening and watch the sunset go down finally on the upper decks is the sky lounge and this is where you come if you want a cocktail with a view the whole place is surrounded by glass windows and has a lovely modern feel but at the same time is really cozy come in the afternoon with your coffee and a book and just watch the sun and the world go by or come in the evening for events like karaoke or the silent disco they do absolutely fantastic coffees have a large dance floor and look at all this seating there's got to be a nook somewhere for everyone including the relaxing loungers looking at the over the front of the boat brilliant both day and night as you can see here this is how it transforms at night this was actually a karaoke evening but i won't subject you to some of the songs that were coming out of here but a great night was had by all which leads me on to some of the entertainment options you have on board i'm not only going to cover a few here because i wasn't a massive theater goer but it gives you just a little feel of what was going on first the theater let's just have a look at what it's like i didn't record any of the shows because obviously they don't like you to record them but the theater was absolutely beautiful and plenty of space and plenty of accessible space i don't like being trapped in too much so you can see there's chairs at the back means you could go and watch the show but without feeling trapped I was there there was entertainment from acrobats to dance shows to comedians all now let's go on to some of the more unusual things celebrity do including this one this was a silent disco and something i'd never seen at sea before and was great fun as you can see there we were all given headsets and there's three channels whatever color light you on was the channel you were playing i think one was popular music one was country music and one was all-time classics and it was great fun to see everybody having such a good time dancing around jumping around dancing to the individual tunes and everybody got really involved you had to actually even get there early to get your headsets this was one of the most busiest events i'd seen on the ship but it was a fantastic night and well worth a go move on to the full moon party again and celebrity done this exceptionally well they had lighted balls in the pool 
and dancers and everything was illuminated and the atmosphere was absolutely fantastic to be dancing the night away while you sailed across the ocean with the wind in your hair was brilliant it was a once in a lifetime experience and some of the aquabats and acts they had on were absolutely fantastic everyone got involved and here you go because it sounds better with music here's a little Of course, celebrities do a lot more in the way of entertainment than I could ever show, from the casino to quiz nights to board games to field games. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful, and please come back.